in prophesying to Lester Summerall, Smith Wiggles was said the Word and the Spirit would come together and it would usher in the biggest move of the Holy Spirit. And then he cried out, sobbing, I see it, I see it. I see a healing revival. And that's what took place after the Second World War. And then he said, I see it, I see it still sobbing. I see denominations being filled with the Holy Spirit. And we saw the charismatic movement of the 60s. And then he said again, I see it, I see it. I see people carrying notebooks and Bibles, going to auditoriums. And we saw the faith movement where that happened. And then again he said, I see it, I see it, but I won't be part of it. There will be a last day revival where churches that allow the Holy Spirit to move would be filled with ministry gifts. Hospitals would be emptied. The sick would be carried to churches and they would walk out of those churches healed where the Holy Spirit was allowed to minister. Over this gathering, we have Lillian DeFin, who is Smith Wigglesworth's great-granddaughter, and we have Lester Summerall's grandson coming to this Revival Legacy Gathering. They will be opening up to us the mantle, I believe, that Smith Wigglesworth released prophetically. And we're wanting you to come and join with us over these days to pick up and to run with this legacy of revival. So we see a great move of the Holy Spirit where we could be the generation that sees hospitals emptied and we see the church that allows the Holy Spirit to move with power. Come and you will receive an impartation to run with this legacy of revival. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you on 27th to the 29th of April.